Hello, and welcome to this video presentation. My name is Paul Brett. I'm a senior software support analyst supporting the Transformation Extender product from IBM. The topic for this video is using the ITX email adapter with Gmail and other cloud email providers. Feel free to reach out to me on popular social media channels at Paul Brett IBM. Imagine a scenario where you have a map on your ITX server at company.com that needs to send an email to the servers at google.com. You can't do this directly because, unfortunately, the email adapter does not support SMTP authentication. You might try to send from your map to the relay provided by your ISP, but it is likely that this will also require authentication. You might install a local relay, but when trying to forward from the local relay to google.com, the mail is likely to be rejected as the IP address does not match the mail domain that you have used. Here is one solution to the problem that I am going to demonstrate. From the ITX map on the server at itx.company.com, we're going to send an email using SMTP in clear authentication to our internal relay, relay.company.com. This has been configured to only accept emails from the itx.company.com server. It will then onward forward to the relay.isp.com with SMTP authentication enabled. And of course, the relay at the ISP will then forward that email to the servers at google.com. Let's move on with the demonstration. Let's start this demonstration with an overview of my environment. I have three windows open. The first two are remote sessions to virtual machines. The first of these virtual machines is called VM16XITX2 and as you can see I am running the Design Studio. I have a simple map which has five input cards to define the server, to email, from email, subject and body. In the output card I am using a put to the email adapter wrapped within a valid and I am sending in the various items from the input cards to make up that call to the email adapter. Looking at input card 1 where we define the server, you will note that I'm using the echo adapter and sending in the string win2008x64. This matches the name of the second virtual machine in the second window which I shall show you now. Here I have HMail server installed. By default when you install HMail server it comes with two IP ranges defined. One called My Computer, which allows software running on this computer only to send to this machine without SMTP authentication. The second range is the Internet range, which is any other computer and has been defined to require SMTP authentication. I have created a third range called ITX, which has the specific IP address of my ITX server and SMTP authentication has been turned off. So only my ITX server can use this as an open relay and send emails. In the protocols section of the settings under SMTP in the delivery of email tab you will note that I have added an SMTP relayer entry so this will forward all emails that are not destined for the local domain. The local domain is defined in the domains section here and everything else will be forwarded to this relay. Now my relay provided by my ISP requires authentication so I have ticked the box and I have added my username and password in there. Let's go to the status area and into the logging tab and turn on logging ready for the next section. My third window is a Chrome browser where I'm looking at my inbox, which currently is empty. So, switching back to the first window and the Design Studio, I'm going to build and run this map. Switching to the second window, you will note that a lot of logging has arrived on the HMail server, and we'll go through that quickly. 
We have a mail received from paul.brett at paulbrett.plus.com. It's going to paulbrettibm at googlemail.com. It's been received and it's happy to receive it. However, further on, we will note that it is realising it's not for a local domain. It says here, delivering message from Paul Brett to googlemail.com. Here we see a section that says that authentication has succeeded. This is the HMail server authenticating with my ISP relay server. And further down, you will see the sentence, external delivery process completed. So, my HMail server has successfully delivered to my ISP relay, which has then forwarded it to my Google inbox, and in the third window, my browser, you will see that the email has arrived. This is an email from ITX Design Studio. Test document from ITX, test data from ITX. I'm going to leave that mail in there for a moment. We're going to switch back to window number one, and we have the browser showing the ITX Design Server. I'm going to log into the design server and into the email auth project where I have the same map test one in design server. Absolutely nothing different about this map except I've slightly changed the subject. I'm going to build and run the map in the design server. As you can see, more login lines have arrived on the HMail server and in my inbox you will note that a second mail has arrived. This is an email from ITX Design Server. As you can see, slightly different from the previous email subject. This is an email from Design Studio. So, there we have it. A short summary of how to use the email adapter in a map in ITX Design Studio or Design Server to send to a locally configured relay server, which then automatically sends to your ISP's relay server which then forwards it on to the cloud-based mail service of your choice, in this case Gmail. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video presentation today. If you found the content interesting and informative, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as I release content such as this on a regular basis. Feel free to reach out to me on popular social media channels at Paul Brett IBM. Thank you.